This presentation on enterprise data centers, N plus 1 and 2 in options for power redundancy, is brought to you by Cyrus One. Power is a critical element in every enterprise data center and directly affects the level of systems availability. Several key power components exist in a data center. These include the main power source from the utility, the backup generator, the uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, the power distribution unit, or PDU, the rack level PDU, and the internal power supplies in each server. When enterprise data center providers refer to redundancy, they're typically talking about how they increase the reliability of these critical power components. In other words, how much backup power will the data center offer customers during an outage? Power outages can result from weather, equipment failure, power line damage, or a number of other causes. Any unplanned outage can have a detrimental effect on operations. At a minimum, a company can incur significant financial losses and customer goodwill if they are unable to conduct business for any length of time. Because of these substantial risks, enterprise data centers must provide sufficient redundancy to address any unexpected power outages. But redundancy comes in different forms. For example, data centers may offer N plus 1 and or 2N redundancy systems. Enterprise data centers will all offer some form of redundancy. However, companies need to understand exactly how the redundancy system is configured. Also called parallel redundancy, the N plus 1 option makes sure a UPS is always available. N represents the number of UPS modules required to deliver the necessary amount of power for data center operations. The plus 1 refers to one extra UPS module. This type of configuration is not a fully redundant system. Because the system is run on two separate feeds, system failures can still occur. On the other hand, 2N redundancy means the enterprise data center has double the amount of equipment needed. The equipment runs separately with no single points of failure. This configuration represents a fully redundant system and is more reliable operation. Any power outages will have no adverse effect on data center availability. Using an enterprise data center with 2N redundancy is often required for mission critical environments. This type of capability is consistent with a Tier 4 data center, a facility meeting the strictest operational requirements. A Tier 4 facility installs two independent power paths. Each of these paths is capable of supporting the entire data center with no single point of failure to disrupt any operations. If costs were not a factor, then of course all companies should select an enterprise data center with 2 and redundancy. However, fully redundant environments are more expensive. And because companies must operate with established budget parameters, they may not be able to afford 2 and redundancy across the board. A viable trade-off is to select an enterprise data center with both N plus 1 and 2 and redundancy options. Then, companies can use 2 and for the most mission critical environments and N plus 1 for those operations not likely to be affected in a major way by an unplanned power outage. In other words, the cost of downtime will not far exceed the added cost of a 2 and configuration. Before selecting an enterprise data center, companies need to make sure they fully understand the redundancy options offered as well as know the difference between N plus 1 and 2 in configurations. With this knowledge, businesses will be able to make good decisions on matching their different environments to the most appropriate and economical redundancy options. Cyrus Run is a global enterprise colocation provider operating in 23 highly secure data centers across the United States, London, and Singapore. You can learn more about enterprise data centers by visiting www.cyrusone.com.